Christmas time. Twitter, they've all been blowing up. I don't remember any of it. I remember that weekend, I remember that morning, vaguely. But no, from the time that the green flag dropped until I walked out of that hospital, it's deleted. It's gone. There's, I mean, there's nothing to refresh, which is, amazes me because I have a lot of racing memories that I can go back to, but I can't go back to this one. I didn't know until afterwards when I went back and visited the people at the hospital that I was rebellious about putting shoes on. I didn't know it at that point that I came out in my socks walking with my daughters in, in hands. But I'm so forever grateful for all the people that have given me what I have, which is what I had, which could have been taken away from me so easily. I'm not tuned into the social media world, but I was afterwards. It made me realize the impact of it. It's amazing how connected you are to people by doing what you do and love. Corey LaJoy hit me in the top of the door bar, the B post, kind of the A post, but also hit me right in the seat. So there's two bars in the car that are actually designed off of crashes that I've had. They added a bar because of the way the cage folded up. If you look, the cage has been cut off, but it actually folded too, too easy to the passenger side. So they added that bar after this crash. You can see where something pretty solid hit me right there in the seat. And that's right where my head was. In the end, the guy upstairs chose to release his hand and let my ticket drop back down, and he didn't pull it. It's just special. I mean, it's special for me, and it will always be special for me. To be able to be a part of my daughter's lives is priceless. My priorities always were my family, but now that's all they are. I knew how dedicated I needed to be to racing to be successful, and I used that same dedication to my kids to make sure that they have their lunches packed, to make sure that they're um, ready for everything. All the things that need to be done are a challenge, um, just as everything was a challenge before, but I just have taken that energy and focused it more 100% on them. Car just about took my life, but it also saved my life. It's really special for me to have this race car. I mean, yeah, it's junk. <laughs> like, it literally is junk. <laughs> but um, it's, it's special in lots of ways. It's a big part of my racing career. Not at all the highlight, but um, I was about six different kinds of lucky that day. Nothing will ever top being a dad. And I'm a father, you're a dad to two beautiful girls too. This life reset, are you surprised even more every day how much you appreciate, even making school lunches? Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty special to know what I went through, what everybody saw me go through, because I don't remember it. I mean, it's, it's kind of um, a, a deleted moment for me, but um, to, uh, to be able to get back behind the wheel and do the things that I do. My kids are with me last week in Pensacola for the first race, and that's, uh, that's how much more special when they're... Um, when they're there to give me an ice cold water and uh, make me feel better, and then I can pay them back and you know go to Ashland's dances and Brooklyn's uh, Brooklyn's uh, outlaw car races and horse shows and things like that. Um, yeah, it's a reset, no doubt, but it's just a part of my life, and I'm, and I'm happy and proud to be here to talk about it and do it. All right, from a pair of dads, let's go down pit road to another dad, Willie. Where are you? Who do you have? I got Paul.